Hello beautiful people, it's Jamie and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video and a brand new vlog. I'm here behind the camera and here is my view of this morning and I have something to share with you guys, show you guys and you might be a little bit shocked because this has definitely come out of the blue for me but I am so bloomingly excited to, oh my god I'm so excited to put myself on camera because Jamie Deer, Jamie Deer X has had a little bit of an upgrade, a spring summer transformation. I thought I would do a little tense beginning, ooh what is it going to be, what is it going to be? Three, two, one, are you beautiful people ready oh my god oh my god i hope the lighting's picked this up all right um so i may have got blonde highlights again and if you guys have been subscribed to my youtube channel for a very long time then you'll know that around this time last year during the first lockdown liam actually um added blonde highlights into my hair they were a little bit more natural than these are these are quite dramatic but this year i was like you know what i'm just gonna i just want to go all out i'm so blooming happy i don't know how well it's picking it up on camera because it is a beautifully sunny and bright day today but here's a little bit of a close-up i'm obsessed with the color guys i'm just i'm so happy and i've got my eyebrows booked so i'm gonna have them like shaped not too shaped because i quite like the thickness of my brows but just tidied up a little bit now that is all cleared up oh look at this beautiful bush behind me so now that is all cleared up and you guys have been introduced and seen my new blonde hair i hope you like it let me know in the comments what you think of my new hair so today i'm in st albans liam has gone to get his hair cut i'm heading into the town center actually liam's very excited because he hasn't had his hair cut in months he is honestly like buzzing he's like get me into my hairdressers now so the day has finally come he is getting his hair cut too so we're going to be matching in our new haircuts and hairdos i am going into town to meet one of my gorgeous just Instagram friends and we're gonna have a coffee we're just gonna have a, a mooch around we're just gonna have a really nice morning I don't know if I've already said this but I am in St Albans today um, which is a town which is really posh really nice um, I actually used to work at the Christmas markets here when I worked at Christmas markets on a toasty store many many years ago and it was really good fun and I I remember how cute and quaint and how much I just loved St Albans Ooh, this is basically like a bigger version of where I live. I am joined with Eliana. Hey gorgeous, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Oh, you look so wonderful on the camera. Let's do a little outfit of the day because everyone needs to appreciate this gorgeous outfit. So I actually have some heels to go with it. Ooh. This is how like, I was making for pictures, you know? Yes, I love it. Very casual. This yeah. blazer, I want it. H&M. Six pounds. Grow there. I love it. I think people are singing inside of it. Yeah, we heard. I mean, it's Sunday, so there might be a service. <laughs> I like. I used to sing in a choir. Did you? I yes. used to sing in a choir. Did you? Yes. Oh my god, no way. <laughs> let's start our own choir. Okay. Guys, we're gonna start our own choir. Yeah, for sure. Let's let's do it. Let's harmonize. You you can take the high note, I'll harmonize with the you. The high note? <laughs> We've just got our drinks, by the way, and we've just been chilling on this really lovely bench. I picked up a strawberry and banana smoothie from Pret. And I have a chai latte from Starbucks. Oh, I love chai lattes. <laughs> Guys, I'm used to the London life, so I cut in between cars. I was like, oh, I'm crossing the road. Safety first, safety first. Absolutely, kids. <laughs> Stay hydrated and safety first. <laughs> wear your mask. And wear your mask, exactly, and sanitize your hands. We are coming to the Maltings, which is like a mini courtyard full of shops. Do you know what? Yeah. I did a show at the theatre here. Did you? Yes. What show? Um, it was called Honk. I was 18 years old, and it was when I was doing theatre when I was in theatre school all those years ago which feels like a lifetime ago but it was only like four years ago so I like this little courtyard because we used to come between shows and chill out and come shopping I'm joined with my beautiful boyfriend again he got his hair done all cut off and styled do you like it how long has it been since you actually got your hair cut? Well, probably. Yeah, beginning of December. What's that like, four or five months? Everyone's saying in the comments how blooming beautiful he looks. We've just come for a little bit of brunch to enjoy the sunshine. The sunshine keeps going in and out. Bougie ketchup, look at this. 
very fancy. This ain't no Heinz, but it's so nice. I've got my nice decaf latte here. And then this is my breakfast. So I've got some eggs on sourdough toast. And you've got like a little mini English breakfast. We've just come to St Albans Well. A very nice area. So we just finished up in the brunch place. I think that it was called Auburn Wells and it was so delicious. We were so impressed with the food. It was a little bit, it was quite fancy. I'm not, <laughs> Liam's just got his hair cut and he's got quite sensitive skin and on the back of his neck, it's gone quite red and patchy. And I told him I was gonna vlog it as a joke. I'd just be like, oh my God, everyone look at the back of his neck. Obviously I'm not gonna do that. Baby, it's fine. You look lovely. Give them a 360 of your hair because I feel like the lighting previously wasn't that good. They need to see they need to see it up close and personal. Look at this. Bam, bam, bam. We are currently on the way back to the car. We just stopped off for our free prep. I'll obviously update you a little more when I get home because I have some things to do. I start university literally tomorrow. So I need to start preparing for my last few weeks and my last essay. Hello beautiful people. So it is now the next day. The sun is still shining actually. Yeah, it was lovely yesterday. I feel like the last 24 hours have been absolute madness. I don't want to speak about it just yet on my channel, but things are happening behind the scenes. Very exciting things, very nerve wracking things. Just a lot has been going on. I feel like I say that in every one of my vlogs, but seriously, you know when everything all happens and comes at once? That is exactly what has happened in the last few days or so. Today is Monday, it's the start of a new week. I am off to town to do some work. So I've actually got university this week. I've had my lovely four weeks off for Easter and today marks the first day of going back for my final term at university. So I've got, I want to say like two or three weeks left of university and then I'm done. I will be no longer a student. I will be an English literature graduate, which is so exciting, but so overwhelming at the same time because you work so hard and spend so much time working towards this one goal. Like you literally spend 21, 22 years of your life in education for this moment. My final essay questions have just been released and I'm off to town to start working on them. I feel quite weird and uncomfortable about vlogging in public in my town. I never normally do it. Ever since I've kind of done YouTube, I've always kind of been at university or been in London. And so I've kind of been used to vlogging in that scene where people don't really bat an eyelid because lots of content creators and media bloggers kind of do this. Whereas in my town, people probably don't even know what a Canon G7 X is or what even a vlogger is. So people like look at me when I walk past and it's just like, it's a little bit uncomfortable when they stare. And obviously it's been such a long time since I've actually got my camera out in public as well, regardless of place. So it's just like, it's kind of getting used to it. I've just come to town. I'm just going to a cafe just around this corner. So I'll show you once I get there. Raise your hand if you're still scared of vlogging in public. Me! So I um, obviously didn't vlog anything in town like i said i was and i was so ready to be like yes you know i'm gonna get my camera out regardless of everyone around me and i was gonna vlog and that did not happen so i went there i had my sausage roll and my coffee and also i ran into my old singing coach and she was like oh i hope you're still singing and i was like Obviously I sing in the shower and I sing from time to time when I'm talking or singing to myself, but no, I don't. I was just like, oh my God, I want to start singing. I want to start singing again or not even singing professionally, just like learning to sing, getting my voice back to where I want it to be, where I feel confident about singing. Cause I have the ability, I have the range. I had it when I was 18. It's just when I was at university, I lost practice. And obviously when you lose practice, that's when you just forget how to do it. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna email her or message her whatever to book a few singing lessons because not gonna lie I kind of feel inspired to just get back singing again but anyway that was quite a little random story um so that's why I forgot to vlog when I was there so I got there um ordered my stuff I went to sit outside of my table and she walked past and then everything got delivered to the table as I was kind of having that conversation she then left I then ate and drunk all my lovely delicious bits I had a hazelnut latte and a caramelized onion sausage roll which was divine I'd say I was definitely productive 
not the most productive I've ever been, but considering this is kind of like the first day back at within university, in the university week, um, I'm actually really happy with how today went. But yeah, this week is actually turning out to be much more excited and wonderful than I had originally planned. So like I said, I'll keep you posted. But yeah, that was my afternoon. I am now going to go home and I need to sort out my room because it's a hot mess. And yeah, I might even have a bath tonight. Oh, I feel like I need it. I'll let you know when I get home and I'll update you with my evening. And I will update you this time. I'm gonna promise you, I will update you with my evening. <laughs> Hello beautiful people. So I told you, I told you in the car, I promised you that I would update you in the evening. And surprise, surprise, he is actually updating you. So it is now coming up to half past six in the evening. I'm all freshly showered. I do need a shave, but I just, you know those days when you just can't be bothered? That is exactly how I feel today, so I'll probably leave it till the morning, but I am about to film a podcast episode with Megan, and, oh my god, today I'm using my brand new microphone for the first time. So, if you guys didn't know, for my podcast, I actually used my brother's microphone for his gaming stuff. Honestly, I have no idea what my brother does. I decided to buy my own because the podcast is something which is growing, expanding, People are loving it and Megan's got a nice fancy one for singing and as well, oh my god, I suppose I can use this for like my singing lessons if I decide to book some and get someone to wait. Oh my god, this is so exciting. But I just picked this up from Argos for £55, which I didn't think was that bad. I will leave it in the description box below and obviously go and check out This Is Me The Podcast if you want to hear a little bit about the quality, maybe you're in the market for a microphone. Today is the first time that I am trying it. I am just currently setting up everything i need to find because it's a, like a usb thing and for any macbook users who are like macbook 2017 plus you'll know the struggle of not having the usb ports so i'm just trying to find my little usb dongle it's proving harder than i thought because my bag has a load of crap in it <laughs> does anyone else have that issue like their bag is just so full of like absolute random stuff that just ends up in the bottom and you're like how on earth did that end up in there he found the dongle he found the dongle okay i just feel like today has been a really proactive and wonderful day i just hope this podcast goes well sometimes we have really good structures and plans for the podcast episodes other days for example today we just kind of go off a whim and decide to talk about things which we're kind of feeling in the moment also i think i forgot to actually say but the um, microphone that i purchased is the blue snowball ice oh my god Stop. Wait, oh my god, Megan's just come on with her camera. Look, I can hear you. I'm vlogging too. <laughs> Honestly, this human here is the reason why I'm doing YouTube more often. Oh my god, honestly, I tell Megan, I love doing YouTube, I just, I love it, and I always oh. tell Megan to get on with recording more videos and get on that YouTube hype because she's so blooming good at it. I mean, you You're literally so have the same mindset as me to pick up the vlogging camera today and to vlog. So clearly you've got we, that YouTube mindset. I did. Do you know what? This morning I was like, right, let's go. Camera's charged. Got another battery ready and charged. And... I, it's just being motivated to do it, I think. That's the best thing. This is like and a, now we're here. This is like a beautiful people X. What are your what are your audience called? What do you call them? Ah <gasps> You don't <Hello. laughs> What do you say at the beginning of your videos? Because obviously I go hello beautiful people. I say oh. I go hello everyone. Everyone. It's the <laughs> everyone X beautiful people collaboration. <laughs> Match. <laughs> Stop. This is everyone good. is beautiful. Everyone, everyone is beautiful. I can hear it now. Everyone is beautiful. Everyone is beautiful. Oh, I'll make a jingle. Hello, guys. So it is a brand new day, and honestly, I cannot stop looking at myself in the viewfinder because I'm literally still adjusting to the fact that I've got blonde hair. Like, I'm literally obsessed. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Obviously, I haven't properly done it today, but I don't know. I just, I feel like I'm a new man. I'm ready to graduate university. I'm ready to move on to my next chapter and my new stage of life. And I feel like just going blonde just helps that, you know? It just makes me feel like I can achieve anything and I can be whatever and do whatever I want. And also, I want to give you a little, um outfit of the day so i actually brought this cropped vest which I'm, I'm i'm literally obsessed with sorry i'm living my 80s 90s dream and i've just paired them with my little high-waisted adidas shorts but can we just appreciate that asos are now selling cropped 
vests. I just love the proportions. I love the proportions. When I've got such long legs, which I am very, very grateful for, legs for days, honey. They said they put me on the cover of Vogue, but my legs were too long. Every day is leg day. <laughs> I'm gonna work it. I'm gonna be confident. I don't have abs, but I don't need frigging abs. You know what I mean? Um, so to anyone who thinks that they do need abs, or that they need to go to the gym, or that they need to have the best bang in summer body, you don't. You just need to own your confidence and own yourself and own your body because your body is frigging beautiful. Anyway, I just wanted to give you a little outfit of the day and share this beautiful vest. I will link it in the description box below if it's still available on the ASOS website. And yeah, I just wanted to say thank you very much guys for watching today's vlog and video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to smash the like button and of course, subscribe down below for more Jamie Deere content and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys, thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.